Hey everyone, Betty Bear from Betty Bear Somatic Travels and a while back I talked to you about painting my truck canopy which is white. Uh, I'm going to shaker cam that baby with black rhino liner. So I'd like you to hang out with me and, and uh, we'll see how my project goes. Never done this before. This is a disclaimer. Don't do what I'm doing because I don't have a clue what I'm doing. I watched a couple YouTube videos so I'm going to give it a try. Come join me. Okay, there's my truck. There's my canopy. I got it down on the ground and I didn't put it up on my sawhorses because I thought it would be too high for me to sand the top. So I got my knee pads and I'm using a mineral spirits or a fiberglass cleaner. I think it's fiberglass cleaner that I'm using. I'm going to clean it off first. We're going to tape it and uh, work from there. Well, as you can say, see, I have to take that rear marker off. Um, it didn't work to start out with, so I'm going to order a new one in the meantime. And when I bought the canopy, the guy put this one in there in the back. But I really would like to get this one replaced and put a brand new one back there and take this, this one off that the guy put in when I bought the canopy. So anyway, I've got it cleaned off. Not quite all the way, but I'm going to work on just a little bit longer and see if I can get some of that residue off of there and I've got the canopy uh, cleaned up and I'm going to start sanding on it. So that's going to be my next project. Well, I've got the, uh, the first really good coat of sanding on. I use a, um, a DeWalt, a cordless De DeWalt. I virtually all of my tools are DeWalt and virtually all of them are cordless. Um, of course, I've got some, some, uh, uh, power chain, uh, skill saws and, and I've got a, um, uh, reciprocal saw and it, but uh, almost all of my tools are cordless. And that's just because I, when I'm going places, I want to make sure I can use everything I, I got. And, uh, anyway, I love, I love DeWalt. So anyway, I've got, uh, the first coat sanded. And um, I'm using a hundred grit uh, sandpaper. Let me show you here. I'm using this stuff right here, a hundred grit sandpaper, and I'm going to do that um, all around the whole thing. And then um, I'm going to go back with 320 and just kind of make sure I've got everything like fine tuned. So anyway, that's that's uh, that's what I got going so far. It's a tedious process, and uh, you know I don't know if I should have tape the windows first or tape the windows afterwards but I didn't tape the windows yet but uh, like I said don't do what I'm doing because I don't have a clue I I YouTubed quite a few things and some of the answers I didn't get on uh, like an answer on how to take that light off I had no clue on how to take that light off so I didn't get any answers on that but um, I'm gonna still keep plugging along and I'm gonna take you guys with me all right that steps done I got it all sanded uh, with 100 grit then I went through it with with a 320 then I took my little block sander and I went all around the edges and there's a couple of spots here let me show them I don't know if you can see that but there's a couple of spots where right here where I had there was a chip there and so I rounded it off I'm not going to do any fiberglass work because I don't have a clue how to do that but I kind of rounded it off right here and then on the other side it's kind of the same thing there was a chip right here and so I kind of rounded it off and I'm hoping that that that's going to work fine but but I sanded all along the edges around here and all around here and so now I'm going to tape it that's going to be a tough one too but I go oh, I got to clean it off first and I'm going to use that uh, um what am I using anyway I had it in my shop there it is right here it says fiberglass cleaner and it says acetone cleans projects like fiberglass um epoxy adhesive dries fast so Anyway, I'm going to clean it off with that, and then I'm going to tape it. Well, I got it all taped up. I think. 
think that'll work. Ah, I'm so excited. Cool. Cool, cool. Okay, well, I'm going to wipe it down one more time. I'm going to cut that light off right there, too. But I'm going to wipe it down one more time. And I'm going to spray it. And see what happens, guys. <laughs> well, I bought uh, two cans of auto primer. So I don't know if that's going to be enough or not. But I figure if I cover up the best I can cover up and, and uh, use it sparingly. So I got two cans of Rust-Oleum pri primer. And I also have this thing, which I've used many, many times before. This is a, a little spray thing that you put on top of the can. I'll show you how it works. But and it's called a Rust-Oleum Spray Grip. And boy, talk about save your fingers because being a carpenter for so many years, I've got no strength in my hands at all. I mean, literally no strength in my hands. So I use that when I'm painting and boy, does it help. But I got, uh, I'll show you what I got for, uh, for Rhino Liner, which is not Rhino Liner. It's, uh, Rust-Oleum Truck Bed Liner right there. And I got four cans of that. So I'm hoping that's going to work, but if not, Home Depot's right up the way here, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to shake these babies up, and I'm going to start with a couple cans of primer. It says you have to let it set for 15 minutes, so um, I'll shoot a little bit of that primer on and uh, get back to you again, guys, see how it goes. Well, the wind's pretty bad out here, so I'm really struggling, but I'm kind of shaking a little bit and spraying a little bit just when the wind is dying. So I got two two cans of primer on it. That's it. I didn't cover the whole thing, but I focused more on the sides than I did on the top. But that's two cans of primer. I got four cans of this uh, bed liner. I know that's going to be plenty, but I just wasn't sure. I, I just wasn't sure. So uh, anyway, I got the two cans of primer on. Let's see what happens with that, uh, with a bed liner. Well, what a... What a chaotic mess. Each can, each and every can, I bought uh, five cans or four cans. Each can did not work. The spray just went Pfft. So I had to soak it in that uh, solution, soak the lid in the solution, uh, spray again. It would spray another three or four seconds. It was a total, total nightmare. And I, the top is not good. So I, as you can see, I think I'm going to get another can. God, I don't know. It's not dry yet, but... Oh my gosh, I would never use, suggest that ever, ever, ever. Do not ever use that stuff. It, every can I had, there was not a can that worked correctly. Every single one. What a mess. But uh, the sides look really great though. I did, uh, the sides look really good. I just don't, I just didn't get enough in the top, in the top, but the sides look good. So I think, I think one more can, I think one more can will work. And if I do it without being in the, in the, the wind, you know, if I do it without the wind, I think that it'll be fine. But oh my gosh, what a, it's going to look great on my truck though. Yeah, it's going to look great. And you know, if I don't do the top, nobody's going to see it, but, and it's not dry yet. It's not dry. It's got, you can see the sides, it's got some streaks and stuff on it. Not streaks, but little wet spots and stuff. It's not dry, but uh, you now see if it, see if it, um, what it looks like when it dries, but oh my gosh, guys, it was a mess. Well, when it dries and um, I get the, um, I don't know if I, it'll take me a while to get that, uh, get that light here. Well, it's the next day. I let everything all dry really well. I couldn't pick up the camera when I was doing that rhino liner because it, every single can I used did not, it did not shoot. It just didn't shoot. So, I mean, I got them all to work, but I had to soak, soak the lid, soak the, the tip of the can soak the lid again it would go 10 seconds three seconds 13 seconds and then it would just quit again but anyway it looks pretty darn good though i have to tell you um looks pretty darn good so let me give you a, a little sneaky peeky on, on how it looks this is my <laughs> my little canopy, pro canopy project you know for uh, not being a painter i'm pretty tickled that uh, my son-in-law helped me that very last coat because it uh I had a couple of runs, and so he's uh, he's painted many times before. So he uh, he sanded it really lightly, and then we just shot it a little bit more with the the flat. But boy, did it turn out really nice! I'm really tickled. A whole lot better than than the white. I think it's going to look great when it's pulling my my uh, little tiny house. So anyway, that's my project. It turned out pretty darn good. Oh, shoot, the light's not very good on this side, but oh my gosh, I'm really tickled. So. 
Well, she's finally done. Looks pretty darn good. Never claimed to be a painter. Don't even want to be one, but uh, the price on uh, doing the Rhino Liner was $600 to do that, and I'm not going to pay $600 to do that. So it cost me um, $10, $20, $30, $40, about $50, maybe with the, with the tape, it cost me maybe $55, $60 to do it. But I think it turned out pretty darn good. Um, I like it. I, I actually, I love it. I think it's going to look really good when it's pulling my, uh, it's going to be pulling my tiny house. So, um, the holidays are coming up here pretty soon. Thanksgiving's in a few days. And, uh, I met my daughter in my son-in-law's house and my granddaughter, my great grandkids live right up the street. So we're all going to hang out and enjoy each other's company. And, um, I've got a couple extra projects. I'm going to show you guys, um, little improvements on my tiny house that we talked about earlier. So I'm going to, I'm going to start working on those and I'll bring you guys along. So if you enjoyed any of the video and give me a little thumbs up, that little bell icon, subscribe to the channel if you would, and I'll bring you along the next go around. Thanks guys. Have a great holiday.